Welcome to Nessie Mandra. Today our video is related to Karnataka State Common Entrance Examination. For those who want to apply for the nursing admission, paramedical courses and uh, all other um, related courses. So how to fill CET examination online application? It's February 18th is the last date for online application. So we will check how to uh, make the application online. Before filling application, your SLC or 10th marks card to enter the register number and date of birth. 12th or certificate or second PUC marks card in case previous year students. All the reservation certificate to enter the RD number, your caste category income certificate or a non creamy layer certificate that is NCLC certificate, Hyderabad Karnataka HK certificates whichever if you want to claim. Details of the uh, certificates which you shows that you studied in Karnataka if you have. Candidate latest passport size photograph that should be in JPG format. Maximum size should be 50 KB. Candidate signature in JPG format. Maximum 50 KB size. Then uh, we can proceed with the registration for new user. Okay, We will see now how it is. So in new, new user they are asking have you completed SLC? Uh, from uh, KSEAB that is uh, in Karnataka. So uh, those who completed in Karnataka you can mention yes or uh, those who completed outside Karnataka you can mention no. So if you studied outside Karnataka uh, then you have to select your board which state you are Kerala or uh, uh, like Telangana which state you can select the state and that attend the certificate roll number you can mention here. And you have to click on the verify button. So it's mentioning a student register number or application number should be minimum eight digits like that. So sh a student should prefix the tenth standard studied year we have to add. So if you studied in 2015 uh, or 2023 means uh, before the register number we have to mention. 2023 like that the year complete year we have to write then we have to verify it your name uh, you can mention here and your date of birth then you can fill your gender and the year of passing SLC your guardian name that means your father name you have to mention here your mother name then you can mention uh, it's optional uh, if you want then uh, Enter the seats number to validate the study details that is all not required actually. You have to mention your qualification details. If you completed the 12th means you can write 12th then come uh, select your nationality then enter your email id. Then you give your mobile number then you can click on the verify button initially which is given. Then password will be OTP will be sent to your mobile number. You have to enroll the OTP here. Then you can enter the password with a minimum 8 characters. Give confirm password option. Then you have to attach your passport size photo with a white background. You have to attach the JPG file format. Uh, as initially we have discussed how much MB it is required. That one we have to upload. The CAPTCHA code you have to enter here. Then click on register. The online registration is completed, your login details, user id, the number you have to notify, user id and the password as you created you can mention. We are unable to copy it so just write down somewhere the application number. Then again uh, with that um, login id number we have to write, enter here the login id then enter, enter the password then captcha code then you can login it. Once you login you will direct it to the main uh, page. Uh, regarding the general details which you have given then there is eligibility clause reservation study details uh, then you are uploading the documents course details everything we have to complete uh, then uh, there is a payment we have to make the payment then after that you can take out the printout of your application you will get all the notifications in your uh, mail related to uh, the application exam date and all so in the uh, first general information you have to fill all your details your address your pin code your qualification nationality your resident residency uh, then your religion uh, the category of the religion subclass your mother tongue all the general details we have to enroll and we have to save it 
then go to next page uh, next page it is showing uh, the eligibility clause they are asking do you claim seat under nri what uh, you have to select if you are nri you can just select yes if no no select and total number of years studied in karnataka from first standard to 12th standard how many years you have studied in karnataka that also we have to mention there uh, then uh, your qualifying examination board then 12th registration number then uh, year of completion of uh, puc 12th standard then in which district you have completed a puc completed the all the details you have to fill accordingly so we have to click here for the how to uh, know the eligibility clause so uh, we have to select the uh, okay. eligibility clause here there is one pdf you have to go through that uh, pdf uh, check under which eligibility clause you you will come like that then accordingly you can select the eligibility clause so clause a the candidate should have studied in education institutions located in state of karnataka like that clause b c d like that so many clauses are there just check under which clause you are coming uh, just i cannot find uh, my clause here so i just selected is that clause then the application board proceeded other clause if i am selecting they are asking uh, different uh, documents uh, so i just uh, uh, selected the last clause you can go through the each clause if you are uh, applicable uh, in any of this clause you can mention that one i just selected a uh, clause or something that is not uh, applicable for me even though i just selected it i just done the ticket creation to ask which clause uh, we will come outside karnataka candidates but i didn't get the response so waiting for the response there is contact number and the details once you done the application you can email to them uh, regarding the clause selection so eligibility clause details is saved successfully then go to the next page then reservation claims so if you have any reservation you can select yes if you don't have any reservation select no um, do you want to claim category other than gm uh, no then certificate will not be accepted to claim category central obc no ewc and arya visa annexure g income certificate will not be accepted for income claim kalyan karnataka reservation is there or not no did you study in rural area in karnataka from first standard to 10th standard no do you want to claim religious minority if you want to claim you can claim it but they will ask for minority certificate the number and all so just to select it no and uh, st john's reservation claims did you study in karnada medium from first standard to 10th standard no do you want to claim linguistic minority i selected uh, no are you a son or daughter of jammu and kashmir migrants no st john's reservation claims applicable for medical only so ncc sports defense defense p ph and more uh, do you want to claim any special categories then i just mentioned no then we have to save it but um, capf or ex capf need to be claimed for the eligibility clause o so i selected clause o eligibility so they are asking for uh, this one should be claimed so i just selected here select the special category claim sports like that then only my application got moved so if you have any other options you can select that one then uh, we have to enroll the study details uh, past class details past year then uh, select the board then which educational district school name with address all the details you have to enter add study details uh, click on that then uh, the study details will come here in the section then you can click on next option so nri board not claimed so if you are nri uh, applicant then you, then you can mention all these details name of the nri guardian nri guardian passport number guardian relationship um, like that all the details you can enroll if it is suitable the next section is document upload so we have to upload the signature so signature file updated successfully uh, then we can click on next uh, page then um, they are asking click here to know more about the subject course and eligibility all the details then next they are asking whether you wish to i wish to take the ct exam uh, x you have to make yes 
then a select a preferred language question paper that's English or Canada which language is suitable for you you can select that then select the subject or courses you wish to write exam and get admission um, so for the nursing um, it is uh, PCB physics chemistry and biology for nursing veterinary yoga and naturopathy agriculture and pharmacy uh, then uh, it is mentioned there uh, in the system so you can select the pcb option for the things then next is the payment total application fee is 2500 so exam center details for ugct applied candidates do you want to claim agriculturist quota if yes means uh, for the agricultural um, courses you can mention yes but here uh, for nursing no then uh, priority uh, for exam center which exam center you need uh, you can select the location in bangalore mysore or uh, mangalabram which area mangalore which area you need you can select that uh, priority exam centers uh, first priority and second priority like that you can select uh, two options so i just selected uh, uh, first priority bangalore second priority mysore i selected uh, then we can uh, download the application copy then if, uh, and check it all the things are correct or not then you can go to the next page so in the next page uh, the payment option uh, payment gateway will be opening you can make the payment 2500 so once you've done the payment you can download the application print out so you will get the mail notifications in the registered mail id you have to monitor the uh, notifications i hope you understood how to fill the application online for common entrance examination karnataka state if you have any questions or need clarification drop them in the comments below we are here to help contact us through nursing mandra whatsapp number for professional guidance